All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Um, finally got the Prime One Batman Forever Batman Museum Masterline One Third statue. So this movie is not for everybody. I know the bat nipples were always the uh, big issue of this. Um, but me growing up, I loved this movie. I thought it was fun. Um, yes, I was mad when Michael Keaton wasn't gonna be the Batman. He originally was, and Tim Burton was originally gonna do it, but a lot of uh, conflicts went on. Um, so Joel Schumacher ended up getting the movie. It wasn't a dark movie, it was more of a colorful movie, but you know what, it was fun. And at the time, you know, a Batman movie was always just, you know, a good summer and it was just fun uh, going out and um, getting all the merchandise and just seeing all the PR stuff. And uh, you know what, it's Batman. And uh, I'm a Batman fan and my goal right now is I, I wanna collect the line of all the Batman, uh, all the Batman movies and I want to get all the suits and uh, this is no exception. So um, here it is, finally here. Unfortunately, the wall that it comes with, I don't know what happened, but my shipment got screwed up. It's on a whole nother truck. It's been on a truck for three days now saying it's going to be delivered and still hasn't been delivered. So um, I don't know what I'm going to have to do on that, but uh, it's a mess right now. So. But anyways, um, we got this, we got the main guy, so uh, let's get this open and get to it. All right, so let's go over some of the things we get with this. So these are basically your bats that hang off of the base. A really nice job on these things. What I like about this one, these bats here are, there's a new, they're calling it a Schumacher cut. Uh, Batman Forever. It's kind of like the Snyder Cup, and now they have one for Batman Forever. And in the movie, there was a giant bat that uh, Val Kilmer, as Bruce Wayne, encountered. Now, I don't know if it was in a dream or what it was, but it never made the cut in the real movie. But it's definitely in the movie for the Snyder Cut, or if, I'm sorry, for the uh, Schumacher Cut. So I think these are a really nice Easter egg for that, if we ever get that movie. So... Okay, and this is the glove, very nicely done. I love the texture, it looks just like leather. You have your stitching here. And basically what this one is, this is for the exclusive. And this is what comes in the exclusive. It's, a, uh, it's the uh, grappling hook, which this is really nicely done. Basically all you do is you just kind of take this this uh, pin here and it, it kind of just it drops in it, it it's not magnetized so you know if you're gonna if you see if you wobble it it, it comes out but it, it holds good you just if you bump it you just got to be careful it's an unfortunate thing also on this uh, really cool they actually added if you can see that they actually added the zipper there is a zipper on that on the uh, screen use gloves so it's a cool little touch there Okay, and this is another one you get of him uh, holding the battering. So, really nice job on the paint job. I like how you have the, uh, the face of the battering and then if you turn on the back here, you actually kind of have uh, me the mechanics of it, how it actually folds in, so. And this is another fist one, except there's no hole here. So if you want them without holding a weapon, you can just put this one on. Really nicely done. Fins have some uh, battle damage to them, so. Okay, and here goes the portrait. I really, really like this portrait. Love the eyes. So your eyes are looking this way. You can't move them, so they're just gonna stay there. But um, the face looks really good. Lips are nice. Um, there is some stubble here. I like how they added the, the uh, air holes in the uh, cowl, which are on the uh, real one. Um, now, unfortunately for me, I have a scuff here 
And then I have a little chip on the ear. You can see the little white there. So I'm probably gonna try to get a replacement, see what can happen, because this I can't deal with. I can deal with it anywhere, anywhere else on the statue. I just can't on the head. I, I think that this is what I, I, you know, I just can't. So I'll see what they, they can do for me. But this is absolutely beautiful. I love the paint job on this. Nice, gives that nice shiny look. And I mean, that's Val Kilmer to me. All right, so we have the cape here. I'm hoping you can see this. I know it's a lot of black going on here. Um, couple things though, this is really a super soft material. Um, I'm not a big fan of um, mixed media capes. I like them to be sculpted. But this one seems like it's done with a really nice material. It does, you do get the, the um, I don't, I'm not gonna say leather look, I'm gonna say latex look, because in the movie the cape was latex. And it gave the, uh, the impression on the, on the cape were supposed to look like um, bat skin. So you definitely do get that on here. Hopefully the can camera can pick that up. But this is really a super soft material. Question is, will it last? That's my only concern. Um, but this definitely doesn't feel like something I've ever felt on a statue before on the older ones. So maybe they've upgraded. Now here's something really cool on the inside. On the inside, it's laced in felt. It's like a soft felt, so I don't know what material this is. This is really nice though. I mean, it feels quality. So, so yeah. All right, so here we have it. Um, the assembly is pretty easy on this. Basically, you got your base, you got your Batman body, plop it on. Put one arm in and the head on with the cape and call it a day. So easy assembly. Um, this guy is big, very, very tall. About 38 inches tall, 17 inches wide and about 15 inches deep. So definitely not a small piece. What's funny about that, the body is, the body is pretty light. Now the base is super heavy, obviously it's polystone, um, but the, the body, the, the whole Batman figure itself Kind of questioning, man. He's pretty light. He's not a super heavy piece, and I've held pieces this big, polystone, and they're pretty heavy. But um, but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and start off with the base. Um, you get to the front of it, and it says "Forever" uh, embedded in the ironwork, and then you have the uh, Batman Forever logo on it, which is done in a nice uh, gunmetal gray. Um, the ironwork is really nice on this. I love how they have uh, just the um, dents and the, uh, they got rust on the bolts. Um, and it really blends in nice with the rock work. Um, and then you go around to the uh, hanging bat here. Very nice. Uh, like I was saying earlier, that's kind of a uh, Easter egg to what was actually cut in the film. But I believe it's in the new uh, Schumacher cut. And then as you come around here, you got more iron work, which uh, is going up and uh, you got more of the bolts. You actually see uh, lug nuts on these, which are really nice and they have a nice uh, um, rust applied to it. And again, you got all the rock work here, which is pretty nice. It's not really sharp rock. It's pretty soft, but it, it, I, it looks good. I mean, it's, you know, paint it well and uh, it looks like rock. So here's the cool part in the back. Um, you come to another Batman symbol. Um, this one's pretty interesting. This is what's on his buckle, but also in the movie, this is what in, on his computer, his computer would shut close. And this is what the emblem, it would connect and to create this emblem. So I feel that's a pretty good Easter egg as well. A little homage to the movie and the uh, Bat computer. And you come around again, pretty, same as the other side. You got your iron work, uh, your bolts, your lug nuts. And then we come up here to the, uh, the platform. I really love this platform. Um, I wish it lit up though. If these uh, little honeycombs lit up, boy, that would elevate this base. Cause I, I'm digging this base and I'm not really a guy that, I don't really care about a base. I buy it for 
uh, the character and um, that's the most important thing. But uh, I'm thinking about maybe putting a couple spotlights on it and you know, make, making it light up. I think that would just elevate this piece. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the boots here. Um, I'm not a big fan on the way these boots look. Uh, first off, I don't like the texture of these. They're just textured way too heavy. Um, and then all the creases on the boots, they just, they, they look like it's all melted together. They just don't look like proper cre uh, creases. Um, I even got some paint missing here, which I'm going to have to go over and probably dab with some black marker, but, um, that was kind of a miss on, on the boots. Just, I'm not a big fan of them. Um, the shape of them are, are correct. Um, it's just the way they look just too textured and too clunky. Just, it just, it doesn't look right. This does not look like, you know, the boots creased and not to mention this guy is standing straight. These shouldn't even be creased. So, um, you know, just a little nitpick. Um, go up to the kneecaps, very nice. Um, now here's another problem I have is on the real suit, the, so the way the suit was made was uh, the muscle, all the muscle you see here was sculpted into a foam latex. They call it a wraparound suit. And then it was glued onto a black smooth uh, neoprene uh, two-piece kind of diving suit. Well, this suit's smooth. It's supposed to be smooth. And this one is, it's rough. It's all textured roughly. And that should not be, um, definitely should not be like that. You know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, it still looks good, but um, you know, that could have been just an easy smooth because you want all this to blend in, to not make it look like there's an undersuit. So that was kind of a miss on their parts. Um, but other than that, all the leg muscles look great. Um, here's another problem, the belt. Now the belt is sculpted very nicely. The problem is it's gray and then the pods are black and then it's gray, pods are black. This belt is all black. There should be no gray in this at all. So um, I don't know why they did that. It's kind of a miss. Um, well, that's a big miss. As a matter of fact, and then we go up to the torso. The torso looks fantastic, man. I, they, they nailed the muscle on this one. Um, and then as you go up, you got the, the bat nipples, everyone's favorite. Um, gloves look great on this. Um, the emblem looks good. Um, it's a little bit, it's proper. It's just a little bit chunky on the paint on the bottom here. You can really see how they, you know, kind of messed up on that. Cause that would have been nice if that would, they would have took the time to made that a little nicer. Cause that's kind of the, that's the one thing that pops out of the suit. Cause it's, you know, it's a gold color. So and then you get up to the head, head looks good. All connects nicely. Love the cowl, love everything about it. looks like Val Kilmer. Cape looks good. Sits right in between the, uh, the cowl and in, in the, uh, the torso, so it lays down nice. And then we go on to the back side. This is where it gets really cool. Um, they did something really interesting on this. As you can see, they added the plastic eclipse on the belt, how it connects. Now they didn't have to do that. They could have just made that solid and, and go with it, but that's really how it was done in the movie. So, you know, for some people they are going to complain, you know, that should have been smooth. Why is there an eclipse there? But, you know, I find that pretty cool. I mean, that's something they didn't really have to do. Um, you know, and then it shows the zipper. You got your, your zipper in the back here. That that's exactly how the suit went on. Nice uh, back muscles there. It looks all good. Everything is great. So there it is. All in all, I absolutely love this piece. Unfortunately, I don't have the wall. I don't know why, but the wall got separated in transit. So it's it's been on a FedEx truck for like three days and it still hasn't been delivered. So I'm getting a little concerned about that. Um, but I know when I get the wall at this piece, it's gonna make this piece very, very epic. And I absolutely, 
if you're a Batman Forever fan, definitely get this. This is I'm, I got the Robin coming too, and I'm I'm hopefully I'm going to get the Sonar suit. Um, but the presence on this is just absolutely amazing. It is a very, very beautiful suit. Whether you like the nipples or not, um, or if you're, if you're even a fan, fan of the movie, it's just something that would, it, it, it goes well with the Batman theme that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna get all the movie stuff, so I, I just kinda wanna line all the Batmans up. And uh, this is my first one, and I tell you what, if the rest come out like this, I'm gonna be super happy. So, but anyways, um, I'll keep it short and simple. That's pretty much it. And uh, until next time, have a great day.